Okay. Any overhang that's more than 10 inches should have four bolts installed beneath them. Sorry about the mask. Got people here. What's happened here? Is when this house was framed out, all the outlet boxes were set up flush, so the receptacles and everything were nice and flush, nice and flush to the house. So when we come over here in the kitchen, we've added this nice splashback over here. And when we did that, with this splashback, now the outlet boxes no longer stick all the way out. Now we have a gap right in here. It's a fire blocking gap. It's been compromised. <clears throat> so the way to handle that, the way to handle that is there's these things called extenders. They cost about two bucks. So four bucks. So four bucks I could have done. They're going to charge you more. They're going to charge you tax. That's what they do. So for about four bucks, you can come out here, add some extenders. There's a link to that bait under the inspection report. Come on. Double cylinder deadbolts. If you have a fire, go look for the key. Go look for the key. Not supposed to have double cylinder deadbolts. Window closer than 24 inches to the door should be tempered safety glass. Should be tempered safety glass. This used to be a window at one time. The, the blocks are a little bit crooked right in here, a little bit. And I'm not seeing any, you know, any signs of leakage. This is the back side of the fireplace. Switches, rocker switches. You do not have electric receptacle outlet over here. You do not have electric receptacle outlet over here. Coming on along. We do not have electric receptacle outlet out here. <coughs> Yay! Lots of air freshening. One thing I've noticed and so far I've been through here is all of the receptacle outlets except for the one. Except for this one, I'll show you which one. This electric receptacle outlet right here is not electrically grounded. Now this is electrically grounded, there's no reason. This controls that. So it's probably just a loose wire. Probably just loose while we're missing our door between here. This is a door coming into the living area and this is the laundry area and I promised you that I was going to see if this works or not and I did. I tested this but it's loose. It's loose. Three prong for your clothes dryer. We'll close this up. If you remember the epic crawl space video. Should not have bare light bulbs in clothes closets. <clears throat> Should not have full chains in clothes closets. Clothes, clothes closets. Kind of hard to talk with the old mascaro, huh? Ceiling fans and everything look pretty good. We've got an open electric junction box in the attic. We've got an open electric junction box in the crossroads. Coming on along. Again, just gonna see what we got going here. If I haven't found them yet, I'm probably not gonna find one. One receptacle out that without grounding. That's not so bad. Now I'm not an engineer. I'm not. I'm a home inspector. I should be able to stay in my lane. I should just be a good home inspector. But I do use some engineering equipment. And so I use a zip pro, zip level, accurate measure. <laughs> And I'm looking for, I'm not doing, I'm not calculating slope. I'm not calculating, you know, I'm not looking for tolerances or specifications. I'm looking for overall differential. I've got two guidelines is what home inspectors should be using. That's what I use as guidelines. Two of my guidelines. The two guidelines that I choose to use, <laughs> FHA, no more than one inch floor height elevation differential within 20 feet. And we don't have it. We don't have it. No more than two inches of floor height elevation differential overall. 
we don't even have one inch overall. So while no foundation is level, and you can definitely see the collection here, you can go around and, you know, all, all floors are going to do that. But in the meantime, <coughs> there's not one inch of floor height elevation differential. Another thing that I choose to do is I like to measure the, take moisture reading, I can't really call it measuring, of the moisture content in the floors because the crawl space is very dank, it's very wet. But when I measure the floors, I'm getting, what is it here? It'll be on the report, it'll be on the report, but it's like between, <laughs> I'll get it here eventually. I'm going to take a good old guess, but anyway, it was between 6 and 10 percent. And most floor covering manufacturers are okay with it. That's, that's generally considered acceptable. So. We're in the back bedroom now, <coughs> the bifold door. He just don't want to stay. <laughs> he just doesn't want to stay right. And this light bulb doesn't work. We shouldn't have. Bare light bulbs and pull chains inside the closets. He needs to be adjusted. This light doesn't work. This light doesn't work. There's a light on the front porch that doesn't work. Moving on along. And I believe that I have checked every receptacle outlet and only found one to be lacking grounding. So that's pretty good. Thank you very much. I appreciate your business and your trust. Tolerating my COVID policy. Those things mean the world to my family and I. 